So you're in Dubai, you're looking to buy property. Sometimes you're trying to maximize returns. Sometimes you're trying to minimize risks as well. I try not to look too much at the negatives, but let me give you a life analogy that help you think a little straight and be more stress-free. If you're looking to purchase a property, there's a link below, hit it, click it, fill up the form, let's talk. Don't forget, hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. Encourages us to make more videos. Feels good when we increase our subscribers. Ask us a question in the comment section. I'll take it up during my weekly live. All right, check this out, guys. Check this out. How do you minimize risks? Now, I'm a person who generally focuses on maximizing returns. That's the positive side of things. But there are undeniably some people out there, not you and me, who might think about the risks of a certain investment, not just to buy anywhere in the world, right? And sometimes those risks keep them from making a decision. No problem. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you a life analogy that allows you to actually understand the risks are just risks, but they can easily be mitigated, okay? Let's say you're in the market looking to buy a car. Now, you could buy a new car or you could buy a used car, then both are fine. Depends on your budget and your taste and your likes. Now, what happens with any car that you're buying, right? You're actually looking to make sure that it doesn't have any issues such as accidents, prior accidents and stuff like that, right? You're looking to make sure that uh, it has the right warranty on it or the service package. You're making sure if it's a used car that the tires are in good condition and so on and so forth. And obviously that there are certain safety nets in there such as seat belts, uh, airbags, and so on and so forth. Then, you know, I think if you want to buy the safest car, I think it used to be Volvo. I don't know if it's still the case. Now, let's say you've gone into the market and you're looking to buy a car. And let's say perhaps you didn't buy a new car, it was a used car. And you see that everything, it has no issues and no accidents. All the warranties in place, so, so it's actually good. There are no other problems from before and the service package is still valid. The tires have a problem. But the value that you're going to be getting for this car can easily be justified by replacing them. Okay, so let's say you're getting a great deal and you look at the tires are a little risk. Can I mitigate that? Yes, you think you've got the time, you've got the energy to go and replace them, right? By the way, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon, all right? If you like the content, it helps us make more videos. If you want to buy a property, hit the link below. It'll give you a form, quickly fill it up. Let's talk. Do you understand? It's very simple. You can easily mitigate risks if you understand them if you've got a list of things to look at same thing applies to travel right so if you were looking to travel somewhere and there was an advisory don't travel there like sometimes you know if you're a u.s citizen the u.s might tell you don't travel here don't travel there fine no problem what do you do if you do have to go? first you might avoid going secondly you might register with the local embassy or the local consulate and so on and so forth okay if you really need to go, you really need to go, right? Guys, listen, real estate is no different. There is nothing risk-free, but there is mitigation of risks. And before you even get involved in a property that has risks, the more important thing is to actually make the, the make go through a filtered process to be able to make the right decision. So it's very, very easy, okay? Anything that you're buying you should be doing pros and cons on it. Pros are actually benefits. And cons are costs or risks associated with a certain property, okay? Now, when you do this, this pros and cons should be based on the criteria that was established. Now, the criteria could be one, two, three, four, five points. And this criteria was actually established in your planning stage. Okay. If this plan was well done and your criteria established is good and the pros and cons based on the criteria are good, 
and you do a value analysis. We look at 26 different ways of doing a value analysis. So we look at 26 different angles. If this is good, your risks are minimized. I hope I make sense, right? I wanted to give you the car example and the travel advisory example because look, there aren't any situations in life generally that carry zero risk. Like you walking down the road, the sky could fall down on you. But the point is in real estate specifically, if you do well planning, if you set up a good criteria and then any property you're looking at, you could go through a value analysis and do pros and cons, your risks ultimately are going to be extremely minimized. You can almost, as I said before, start focusing on maximizing your returns and profit. There is a link below if you'd like to work with us. Click it, fill up the form. We can work together. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. And obviously, ask us a question in the comment section. We'd be more than happy to answer during our live. Or perhaps sometimes we might take your comment and make a full video reply to you. All right, ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.